Hi everybody, it's Patty, Rockstar Mom, and welcome to my channel. And today I think we're gonna have the, a really fun video for you. Uh, as you saw in the title, can a 78-year-old woman wear saint makeup? And if you have been on Instagram at all in the past few months, or maybe even several months, I'm sure you have seen uh, some of the young women applying the saint makeup. It's the, it looks like war paint. And I think sometimes when I think about it, you, you wonder where that term came from. Well, this looks like war paint. It's applied in stripes of colors, or it could be dots, or that you can dip your brush in it. But the idea is that you don't have to just layer everything on your face. You put it on only where you need it, and then you blend it in. And I, I watched these videos, and, and you know, Instagram is like YouTube and other social media. That algorithm, they figure out really quick what you're watching, and they start just bombarding you with very similar videos to keep you watching. And after I watched two or three of these young women apply this makeup, I was literally bombarded with them. And the one thing I noticed that a lot of them kept talking about, it was great for mature skin, but there were no truly mature women uh, showing it. I went on YouTube. I've, I, I looked everywhere for women in my age group, 78, in their late 60s, their 70s, their 80s, their 90s. There were just none. So I decided for a couple of reasons that I wanted to try it to see if it would work for those of us who truly are aging and have uh, really different issues when it comes to our skin, the wrinkles, the sagging, the sunspots. So I decided to give it a try. Then I had to figure out, okay, there are all these young women showing this and obviously selling it because Saint is a multi-level marketing company. And I'll explain just a tad about that in just a second. I, I, I really had trouble over my phone watching Instagram. Uh, I had trouble finding one of these women that I truly related to and thought that she might possibly uh, understand some of my issues. So I did find someone and I have no idea her age. Her name is Kimberly Weiner, and I'm assuming Kimberly is in her 40s. She's a middle school teacher, but for some reason, I just related to her, and I am so glad that I chose her because she's helped me really so much get started with Saint. Now, Saint, and it's pronounced Saint, like S-A-I-N-T, but it's... It's spelled S-E-I-N-T, and I think that's the French spelling for Saint. But Saint, as I said, is multi-level marketing, which means that their artist, I hate to use my fingers, but their artist, their representatives, uh, they're independent contractors with Saint, but they're called artists, and they are experts, at least Kimberly is. And what you do basically is you, and I'll have a link in the description box or the show more below, but basically what you do is you go to that link and there's a real short little questionnaire, maybe about five or six questions if I remember correctly, and you'll fill that out. It's mainly just about your skin and any issues that you may have, and then you're asked to go uh, stand in front of a window where you're getting the direct sunlight and take your cell phone with no makeup on and take a selfie of just your face. Then the artist, Kimberly, analyzes it. I don't know what she does on her end, but she will send you a text and tell you what her recommendations are for you color-wise. So that's how I got started. Let me show you what Kimberly recommended for me. And you can buy whatever you want, and you can actually go directly to their website and 
and pick out your own colors and purchase without going through a, an artist. But listen, and I considered doing that. I'm so glad I didn't. I am so glad that I found Kimberly. Uh, Kimberly made recommendations for me, and I pretty much followed everything she told me. I will say, when I got the colors in, I thought she had really messed up. I thought, Oh, Kimberly, no, girl, no. Uh, those just are not colors that I would have chosen for me, for my what I perceive my coloring to be. But as I started to use them, I realized that she knew exactly what she was talking about. And I'm going to show you my little palette. that, and, and there are different styles of palettes that you can get. And the one I got is just a little basic one. It's got two layers in it. I, they have all different colors and designs, but this is mine. And it has a mirror, but you can see that's what the color. Those are my colors. Don't look at these, but those are my four colors. And actually, you'll see there's only three of them that, you, that I truly use. And then the next layer, you just are my eyeshadows, and I only ordered two. The eyeshadows are powder. The foundations are cream. So, and by the way, they're not called foundations. They're called highlighters. And then you have, these are my lip colors, and they are lip slash cheek colors. And I chose these on my own, and I chose the eyeshadows on my own. But this is mainly what you want Kim to help you with here. So we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how I, and I do this different ways. It's like whatever I feel like that day is what I do when I wear this. Now there are brushes and there's a lot of brushes it seems like, and you don't have to buy their brushes. But I decided that I wanted to get at least a couple of the brushes because if I was going to try to make this work for us, I wanted to make sure that I had the tools that I needed. So I bought two and all of their brushes are doubled in and I'm not a fan of double, double end brushes because I like to stack my brushes in a container and whatever end is on the bottom is always going to be squished. But I'll show you in a minute what I, how I work around that. But this brush is the brush that I use the most. I apply almost everything with this brush. I love this brush. And then I like this one, and you'll see for getting in, because it has a pointed end, for getting into little crevices there. I will list these brushes in the show more box or the description box below the video. But this is the other one that I got. And it's you can see it's a flat brush. And I like this because you can squeeze it if you need to. And then another sort of tapered brush. And again, it's great for this. But I find, and you'll see, I rarely use this brush. But I use this one for the very same thing right here. So, with that being said, we're going to get right into this. Now, there are so many ways you can do this. I'm not going to do it with this brush, but what a, a lot of people do is they will take the side of this brush, that this long edge, and dip it into a color and then put it on the face and do that all over. And I just didn't like that. I like using my fingers. I almost always use my fingers to dip into the color. And so what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do what I call the stripe method, where I do stripes. But again, sometimes I use dots, and sometimes I just put the brush directly into the color. I'm going to start off with the contour color, this darker color. I sort of have my palette lined up in the order that I use the colors. So I'm going to, and you don't, you don't really press into it. It doesn't take very much, but I'm going to start at the top of my ear and get some color going on there. You want to be real careful not to get too much. I have an old washcloth that I use 
to wipe my fingers on if I need to or wipe my brushes on. I'm going to, so you see this, I'm going to get up around my hairline. I have my mirror right here. And then I'm going to get right under my jaw. And the last place I'm going to do that is right here. And I'll just go ahead and wipe any of that off. Okay. All right. That's the first highlight that I do. The next thing I'm going to do is my, my main color that I'm going to do all over my face. What, I, what I, I would consider my foundation to be. This center one. And again, I will probably list the colors up here for you, and then I'll list them for sure in the bottom. But I don't want you to pay a whole lot of attention to my colors, because even though in other makeup you've sort of worn my colors, you probably want to let Kimberly do your colors. So I'm going to start off. And by the way, I've already done my skincare. I think this has really good coverage. Okay, the next color I'm going to use is the color I'm going to use to uh, get rid of this darkness under my eye, more like a concealer, and that's this one. I'm going to do it in the in the corner of my eye and on the outside of my eye. Any place I want light on my face. I think I'm going to put a little on top there. Maybe right there. Okay. Now, a lot of those young girls will go ahead and do their blush at the same time, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to take the round end of my brush here. And I'm going to sort of dip it into one of my colors because my brush is clean and I want to get just a little, a little on it. And I, I start with the lighter colors. And just, I'm not rubbing it. I am just pouncing. I'll come back and get this a little bit later. I like to do the contour last. Say, just like a little pouncing movement and I need a little bit more color on my nose I'm gonna go ahead and go over my eyelids and that's gonna be my primer for my eyelids Okay, now let's do, and I, do, I don't want to move, I don't want to swipe any of these colors, I want them to stay where I've got them, just all I'm doing about with the pouncing is I'm, I'm blending it. And I'm going to blend this up into my hairline. And it's, I'm so used to this pounding motion because this is the way, the way really I apply all of my foundation and makeup. If you've ever watched me do this before. I think I need more. I'm going to just barely touch there and...
You can always add, but it's hard to take it away. Something else I like to do, I'm being older, I have the jowls right here. You can see how the I have the two little dips right here. And I've put just a little of the contour and I'm gonna dot it right on the jowl. Dark colors make things recede, light colors bring them out. So I want those jowls to recede. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this like it is and then I'm going to do my eye makeup. I'm using just my regular products on my eye makeup. And again, I will list everything down below. I'm not going to use the eyeshadow because I'm going to use a cream eyeshadow. I learned a trick years ago from Wayne Goss and it was if your makeup looks shiny or to take a tissue and just blot and I swear you really can't see anything it's like it just takes that major shine away it probably did remove a little bit of my makeup so I'm gonna go back in and we're gonna work on this just a little bit. So I have it here. I know I need some under the eyes again, so I'm gonna go back into the light one. And do the tip of my brush. As I said, I like to be light in the center of my face. I like to be light here too, in my temples. And I'm gonna give myself a little bit more contour. Some of you are going to ask, does it, does it settle in your fine lines and your wrinkles? Yes. Every makeup I wear does. I don't care what it is. I have lines and I have wrinkles. And unless I do something to, you know, that's going to eliminate them, makeup is going to get in them. That's part of it. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with my liner and line underneath. And let's do some blush. I love, I can't tell you the name of it, but I'll put it up here and I'll put it below this blush right here. That has been my favorite. So I'm, again, I'm just gonna dip my finger in it and barely. I think I'm good with that. 
Now, I am not going to uh, use that for my lipstick because y'all know I love my CoverGirl Outlast. So I'm gonna use this. And again, everything will be below. This just stays on all day for me. And when that sets, I'll put the clear on top. Okay. What do you think? What do you think? Um, let's take the hair down. Again, I'll list this hairspray below. I like it. I think my lips are dry enough. I have one more thing I'm going to do. This is not Saint. This is the Doll 10. It's called Overarchiever. Overarchiever. I know that's going to... But what this is, it's... Uh, it's like three eyeshadows, and you can use these for your brows with a brush. It comes with this little brush, or you can use it to cover up your grays, to do touch-ups. And I have really have a lot of gray, white, really, right now. And I don't want to do the whole thing, but I'm going to go in with my little brush, and I'm going to go with this darker color right here. I'm not really swiping it. I'm just getting some color. And it doesn't take much. too much. But you can do it wherever you want it. Just barely touch it. I've done this with eyeshadow before. Love it. I'll list this too. What do you think? I like it. Now, I, 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 I'm gonna t here's why I like it. Here's the main reason I like it. For those of you who have been watching me for years, you know that I love the palettes, like that It book that they came out with once a year, I think usually around Christmas time. I don't know if they're still doing it. I don't buy it anymore. But it was like a book that folded up and it had everything you can imagine in it. And I love the idea of it, but I hated messing with it. I always thought in my mind that I wanted something that, that was all in one place that I wasn't constantly opening and closing containers to put my makeup on. To me, that was just a waste of time, totally. And I just never seen anything that fit that bill until I saw the saint. And that's what first attracted me to it. It wasn't the look, it wasn't the makeup, I didn't have to open up blush compacts or contour or I wasn't constantly screwing and unscrewing containers. 
it's all in one place except for just three or four items. I can do my whole face with this. The only thing extra that I used, as you saw, was, and I'll, and some of the girls that I watch do their eyes with that contour, their eyebrows with that contour, and their lip liner with the contour. But basically, I used four things. Five if you count the lips. I could use the lips in there that I put on my cheeks. My eyeshadow, and it, once I get more colors for my eyeshadow, I probably won't use this that much if I'm using this. My eyebrows, my eyeliner, my mascara. And I can just put those right with my brushes. And I'll show you a picture, but right in front of me, in my little bathroom vanity here, I have my little drawer, and I keep, right when you open it, my old washcloth, my palette, and these laying right there, and that's all I need to do my makeup. I no longer have to keep all of this stuff everywhere, so I'm loving this. That's just one of the reasons I like it. Now, <laughs> and, and let, oh, by the way, I pulled this out. Let me show you something. Okay, if I'm comparing apples to apples using cream makeup, probably my favorite foundation in the whole world is the Lancome. I love the stick foundation. I like everything about it. The main thing I like about this, other than I like the color, is I like the fact that when I put it on and use my brush to blot it out like I did the Saint, I get, um, it dries almost instantly to a matte finish. It has a little bit of a glow, but I don't have to powder it. And But then, after I use this, uh, to get this look, I have, Cream concealers, these are by Nicole. Y'all know Nicole Johnson, this is her makeup line. I use these all the time. I use the uh, NARS for a contour, this cream contour. You can see I've used it. I've got, well, I also have the e.l.f. Con cream contours. The, and these are all great products. I use, um, this is the little Believe from the Dollar Tree Cream uh, Blush. This is one of Nicole Johnson's. Um, this is called Palm Beach. It's a cream blush that I absolutely, you can, can you tell I love it? I love it. I wear creams all the time, but every one of these things, I have to open it and close it because it's a cream. I don't want it to dry out. So I have, I'm constantly opening and closing. Mm -mm. This does not dry down like this. And I will say that blotting it the way I blot it helps a lot because it's still just a tiny bit tacky, but not much. And I rarely have an issue with any makeup not staying with me. It stays on pretty much all day. So... It stays on. But I love not having to open and close all these containers. They also, Saint does have a pow pressed powder that fits in the compact also. And I am getting ready to order that because there have been some days when I knew I needed to lightly powder this and I've used just any other powder to lightly powder. So I need to do that some days. And today, I don't need to. Uh, they have a setting spray. I have used different setting sprays. I like the Morphe, and I really do like this e.l.f. Stay All Day Blue Light uh, setting spray. So, uh, there are cons. As I said, there are cons to it. The con, other than it it's sometimes tends to be a little bit tacky on my skin. But as I work with it, I'm sort of figuring out how to overcome that. But when I ordered my place my order, I, I didn't actually place my order through Kim. Once Kim makes her recommendations, then you'll go, you know, just click on the link that she gives you, and it takes you uh, back to that um, back to the Saint website, and 
you buy whatever it is that you need to buy. And and there's so many. I'm not even going to talk prices because you can do so many different things with it. And they have bundles. And it's just, you'll see. It's not any more expensive than any other makeup. Trust me. If I paid for this and I paid for this and I paid for this and I paid for this, I guarantee you I would have paid a whole lot more than I did. A whole lot. So, and I am, oh, and that's another thing. I'm amazed that if I don't swipe those little pans, you can use it. I mean, it lasts. I, I'm amazed at how little I use to do my whole face. And I think one of the reasons is because you're not putting a layer of foundation on before you put your blush and your contour and your highlights and all that. And oh, by the way, I didn't tell you this, and I should have, but in one of the colors she picked for me is it's like a what we would call a highlighter. And I never wear a highlighter. It's it is just really, really light and sheer, and you really, I, I just don't. <laughs> to me, I think a highlighter emphasizes my wrinkles. So, no, I don't use that at all, and that's, for me, that's something I would not buy again, is the highlighter. Okay, so what I was telling you is I placed my order. I figured out how I wanted, what I wanted. I picked out my palette. I picked out the colors that the highlight colors that are actually the three foundation colors I, I picked those I ordered those uh, put them in my basket and then I picked out uh, the lip cheek colors the two of them that I wanted uh, and the palette that I wanted and did I say eyeshadows the two eyeshadows that I wanted and sent my order, clicked to see it, paid for it, sent it. Got it in a timely manner. I think it was about a week. And I'm telling you, I was sitting on pins and needles waiting for it to come in. I was so anxious to try it. So when I opened the box, all of this was loose in the box with that paper shredding, you know. And this is what it looks like. This is the little cover that goes to the little individual tins. This was one of mine, but look at underneath. I mean, and and the pan itself, the, the pan of color was dented in and it, it was, a couple of them were a mess. And immediately that bothered me. So I sent Kim a text and showed her pictures of it. And she was really shocked that it came that way. She said that was very unusual. Uh, that she actually hadn't seen that before. And she suggested, and I understand, that with COVID, with the pandemic, they were really short-staffed where they fill these orders. And it was just very possible, she thought, that uh, they were so short-handed that maybe they weren't taking the care to ship that they usually do. I, I even, and she did offer to replace them, to have them resent to me. But she also told me that I could take them and you can heat up that tin and there are different ways that you could do it and just warm it up enough that it just sort of smooths out in the tin. I did that. And I actually turned my curling iron on. Whoops. I turned my curling iron on and just took my uh, a pot holder and held that and just held the bottom of the tin to my curling iron and it softened it just enough that it laid out flat in that little tin again. So that was okay. And I will tell you that I, I was concerned. I knew that there was a really good chance that I was going to review this, whether I liked it or not, and be, t uh, and be totally honest about it. And so I started researching, looking for reviews on the Saint makeup looking for this particular problem. And, you know, I found no real bad reviews. I found none on this. I found none on it, the containers coming 
either opened or partially opened. There were just none. And I Googled it. I looked at YouTube videos. I, I looked everywhere I knew to look, and I just couldn't find where that was a, an issue that anybody had complained about. So I sort of think what Kim said is true about it. But the fact that she would make it good made me feel really good about uh, receiving it like that. I am placing another order today. I will tell you that I'm going to uh, send Kim a text when I finish this video and have her redo my colors for summer because I know this foundation, when I start to get some color in, on my chest and my arms, this I, I'm going to have a white face. And so I'm going to have her redo my my highlights, the three highlights, or at least two of them, to give me colors that will give me a little bit more overall deeper color that might match my tan. And I want to order a couple more eyeshadows. I am also going to order, and I didn't show you this, but they have a wonderful brush cleaner. And I did order this originally because with those brushes, I thought, you know, I want to keep those brushes clean with this cream makeup. And all you do is you just spray a little bit on your brush, and then I take my old washcloth, and I mean, I really work it in there good, and that brush just comes completely clean. And then about once a week, I actually wash them. So I love this brush cleaner. And I, they also have a setting spray, and I am going to order the setting spray because I'm hoping that the tackiness that I don't like, the setting spray will take care of. Maybe it's formulated to, to take away that tackiness. I will tell you also that I'm going to order another palette. They, they have it, uh, another style that I like, and it's this width here. It has the two levels, but it's longer. Since I'm ordering a couple of more colors and some more eyeshadows, and I know I have room for them in here, but when I ordered this, I thought I was ordering the longer one, and when I went back and looked, I saw that it was my mistake. Many of you know that I'm going to be cruising next month, and this is what I'm taking uh, on the cruise for makeup. I'm still using all my other makeup. I am a fan of powder makeup. Y'all know that. I love the It Cosmetics Celebration uh, Powder Foundation. I love the new ELF uh, Camo Powder Foundation. I'm going to take those two. But I am taking the Saint with me along with... I want to I wanna say, too, that you can certainly purchase Saint Cosmetics if you're interested in pursuing it. There are a lot of of women selling Saint, but I can only rave about Kimberly. And if you, unless you know someone, or unless for any reason you want to uh, try someone else, I, I just don't think you could go wrong with Kimberly. I will tell you that because Kimberly is a middle school teacher, I mean, she's not going to get back with you instantly. She's teaching school five days a week. And she has a family. So, you know, it might be a day uh, before I would hear back from her, maybe even two days. But the things I've needed her for, it wasn't urgent. I just can't recommend her enough. And, and again, I think so many of you know how I feel about small businesses. I think women in small businesses need to be supported. And she and all the other artists with uh, Saint are basically small business owners. This is how they either make their living or supplement their income. It's their side hustle, a lot of them. And I think uh, Kimberly told me it started out as a side hustle, but it's, it's really, she's really been surprised at what she can make out of it. So I am all for supporting her any way I can. Okay, that's it. I'm interested in the comments. I'm interested in what you have to say uh, about it, about uh, if you think you're going to try it. Have you tried it? Have you tried it yet? And if you've tried it, what do you think about it? How do you use it? Do you do what I did today, or do you do the dots, or do you put 
all of it, you know, the main color and then add on it like you do with your tr you would your traditional makeup. I'd be interested in hearing that. I'd be interested in hearing about it. But I can I can actually see me using this for a long time to come. It's not the only makeup I'm going to use. You're going to see me using other things, but you're going to for sure see me using Saint a lot of times. All right, that's it. Oh, wow. I uh, hope this hasn't been too long. I'm looking here. Oh, maybe about 30 minutes. My battery light's flashing, so let me just uh, tell you how much I appreciate you. You know how much I love you and care about you. But just remember to be kind. Be kind. Know that I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.